Hey guys, I'm Jacob, and welcome to web development tutorial number 13. Before we jump in, I'm going to start us off with a code challenge. I'm going to give you some coding tasks, and your job is to complete them. I'll give you the answer at the end of the next video. Got it? Okay, first one. There are two kinds of URLs that we use in HTML. Absolute URLs, which have a protocol because they point to an external file, and relative URLs, which don't have a protocol because they point to a local file. When we learned about images and links, we used a relative URL for the source attribute of the image tag, but an absolute URL for the href attribute of the link tag. So, for this coding challenge, you have two tasks. First, make a new HTML file with a bit of content, then make a link to it in this web page using a relative URL. Second, put the image located at this absolute URL in a web page. Alright, that's your code challenge. Take a look at next week's video for the answer. Okay everybody, welcome to web development tutorial number 13. Today, we're going to learn the tags div and span, proper indentation in HTML, and a little about the difference between block and inline elements. We'll also open up our developer tools for a bit. Let's get started. First, we have two new tags, div and span. They are simply generic containers usually used for organization. They do nothing as far as visuals are concerned, and in fact, they're almost the exact same, except for one thing. A div is a block level element, and a span is an inline element. Before I explain the difference between the two, I think I'd better show you. I have here two tags, one a div, and one a span. And these extra hello world, worlds are just to help show the difference between the span and the div. Okay, so if we go over to the browser, open up this file, and if we open up our developer tools, this can help us see the difference between the div and the span. So let's take a look. Here, our div is taking up the full width available to it, but our span is flowing along with the rest of the content, and that is the difference between the block and inline elements. Block elements take up the full width available to them, while inline elements flow along with the rest of the content. Now, for reference, bold, italic, and mark tags are all inline elements, but paragraphs and headers are block level elements. Now that we have that out of the way, let's move on to indentation. Okay, so this HTML file looks mm, okay, but we can make it easier to read by properly indenting some lines. In HTML, the indentation rule of thumb is to indent text and just about all other elements except inline elements on other level. And as a rule, pressing the tab key once indents one level. So let's indent this file. Start with indenting everything inside of the HTML tag. Just like that. And then everything inside of the body tag. Just like that. And now we can leave the comment where it is. And like I said, Headers are block level elements, but they're kind of an exception to the indentation rule because they're usually so short and it's pretty easy to read them how it is. So we're not going to indent these anymore. We're just going to leave them how they are. So we'll leave this header as well. Leave the comment. And now here we have a paragraph tag and that is a block level element. So I'm going to indent this by doing that and that and we can leave the line break. And here's another paragraph tag, so we'll indent these. And 
when I said that we don't indent inline elements, I mean that we're just going to leave these how they are. We're not going to indent, whoops, we're not going to indent that anymore like that. We're just going to leave that just like that. Okay, and we can indent what's inside this paragraph tag just like that. And what's inside this paragraph tag, leaving these inline elements how they are. And indent this paragraph tag, leaving these indent or these inline elements how they are. And leave this, leave this, leave this, leave this. Here's a paragraph tag, so we can indent what's inside of there. And we can indent what's inside of that paragraph tag too. And we don't have to indent anything within this link tag because it's an inline element. All right, so we have a properly indented document, and it looks wonderful. This is actually why HTML allows us to insert arbitrary amounts of white space. It's so that we can make our code look pretty. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and good luck on that code challenge, too.